Hello everybody, welcome back to Oscar Buzz, Trevor here, and it is time for our final installment in our June Emmys predictions with Adriano. It is time for a limited series. We got Beef, we got Dahmer, it's going to be an interesting competition this year. But just a few quick things to talk about. We recorded this before all of the submissions were put in. Um, so there's seven in supporting, uh, and we didn't know this at the time. So that will be reflected in the graphics, but not in our conversation. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get into it. Limited series, only five nominees here to talk about. We got Dahmer, unfortunately. Beef, Fleischman is in trouble, Blackbird, and Daisy Jones and the Six. Not that is, I mean... Not the order, but that is my five. Yeah, I have Blackbird at one, Dahmer at two, oh. Beef at three. I think that top three is going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. And then I have Fleischman at four. I'm watching it now, and it's um, so good. Oh, it's unbelievable. But I do feel like it flew under the radar just a bit. And then Daisy Jones, I really liked, but I definitely see the criticisms for it. Yeah. Sure. But I feel like it also had a bigger cultural moment. Oh, yeah. oh, totally, totally, totally. So I, 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 I can see key. Love and Death. I don't know. I don't know if how many people are going to go out of their way to nominate Love and Death. People didn't like it. <sighs> like, yeah. <coughs> Nobody hated it, though, is my Right. Opinion. Yeah. And, like, and they, did nominate, and they did nominate They did nominate Embarrassing Anna and... No. <sighs> okay. But, uh, first of all, one of the worst nominations ever. Um, <laughs> Embarrassing Anna was popular. Like, yeah, it was popular. so popular. That and, again, but, unlimited but ballot. Dahmer. That's Dahmer, right? That uh, is I don't... Dahmer, but also people genuinely really like, and right. also respect the fuck out of Ryan Murphy. Yeah, for some reason. Um... I don't know why? He made <laughs> one good season of American Crime Story and nothing else of, of value. Right, right. So I don't know. I feel decent about this five. I mean. There's I, not I, that much to go off of after that. I don't think Swarm is going to happen. No. no, I'd love it to. That'd be really cool, but they don't. George and talk. Tammy could happen with the actors. Same Maybe. with Welcome to Same with Welcome to Chippendales, in my opinion. I've heard good uh, things about that. It's it's good. It's good. Not like amazing though. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is such a weak one. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it is just a really, really weak year. But as you said, the top three isn't going anywhere. So on the limited series actors, and this is interesting because like I have yeah. no idea who's winning. But we have Jessica number one. And that's yeah. I guess I. It doesn't feel. I. I have Ali Wong winning just because I don't feel good about Jessica winning. Me neither. But she it, it, like it win. feels too correct. She's not worthy of winning. She's good. Not better than like, Ali Wong. No. 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 So. That's that's a weird. Y'all have one. seen Fleshman, right? Yes. Uh, I'm only two episodes in. Is Kaplan really lead? She isn't in the beginning, but she is in like the last few episodes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But she's okay. also the Good narrator, enough. so like. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I I think I don't know if she'll get nominated. I don't. Trevor and I didn't have her in just because of that, but okay. I wouldn't be surprised if she got nominated. I mean, last year, who was it? Uh, the 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 dude from uh, Station Eleven, um, Himesh Patel. Himesh yeah. Patel, yeah, yeah. Sorry, right, blank. right, yes. He got nominated. He was not lead. Like that was the hundred percent. Even, even like Michael Keaton. Even Michael Keaton was like very. Michael much Keaton made that. some sense though. So. No, like, but he made. Part, he was like part of an ensemble. It wasn't like there was a clear lead. Of yeah. Him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can get that. Um, yeah. I haven't seen Dead Ringers, so I don't have Rachel Weisen. I haven't seen. I mean, he's Grant, definitely going to get nominated. I've heard a Sam lot of really confident about. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, yeah. I really uh, think she's I'll, I'll bump it up on the watch list just so I can be prepared for that. I have Emily Blunted, but who the fuck has seen the English? Nobody. Right. That's we ever at six. I'd be fine throwing Kaplan in over Blunt. I, would I have too. Kaplan. I have Kaplan in just because you know there's more confidence around Fleshman. I have. I mean, obviously, I have Ryan like Keo in. I have both with Olsen in. I think that's just gonna happen. Despite yeah, the show. they just Olsen and Keo just feel like they're gonna happen. You know what? You know what Emily Blunt feels like. And I had this same thought when he got snubbed. It feels like Ethan Hawke for the Good Lord Bird. It's just like, oh, I'm sure. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's great. But who the fuck has seen the English? Right. I could see that. I'm fine with having her at number seven. Because a lot of people, like, she's high on gold derby. A lot of people feel good. But, like. I feel like it's just because she's only blunt. And she got the sag. That's good yeah. evidence, in fairness. But, you know, there's a limit. Like, <laughs> Yeah. there. It's, it's, a sag can only take you so far with the Emmy. So. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, like it's, I would it's, love it's, for Dominic yeah. Fishback to get nominated. I think she's the yep. best performance here, but I don't think she's going to because it's other nominated. options I have on here just because like for limited, I just kind of threw names in there because I haven't seen a lot of these. I don't know who what the fuck Five Days at Memorial is, but yeah, I keep on hearing things about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll check it out eventually. Uh, Catherine Hahn, Tiny Beautiful Things, probably not. Um, I yeah. saw Reality this morning, and Sydney Sweeney is actually terrific. Uh, but I know, but they hate TV movie. They hate TV movies unless it's like we'll get to it in limited actor, but like unless it's like something huge, and I don't think that's what reality is. Right. This yeah, as good as Zinni is for sure, for sure. Okay, so well, let's, speaking of let's which, talk about actor. do we want to talk about actor? Okay, so Trevor and I don't have Daniel Radcliffe getting nominated. That's one hundred percent fair. That's totally fair. And I, and I really want him to. Me too. But I want it to happen. I just think that the recent. TV movie treatment at the Emmys will not good. Will prevent <laughs> that from happening. I sure. that's exactly why he's my six. The reason I okay. do have a little yeah. bit more confidence is because weird the Al Yankovic story is a lot bigger. Like like that one caught on, you know? Like yeah, it it's yeah, not but like, it's also like, Roku. Like it's, it's also Roku. But like but that hasn't stopped people. Like I guess yeah, from like seeking it out for and sure. you know people respect weird al obviously mm-hmm. um if, if it wins it, best tv movie which i think it will, it will. Um, <laughs> weird al will be an emmy winner oh dude i love that i, I mean, so amazing. Half, half of his one of the best ego. days of my life i met him at yeah. tiff and that was one of the best moments of my life oh my god um uh yeah i i, I but i also get the yeah, answer george daniel yeah. It, it, you know yeah tv movie is not job. the best steve carell is a great prediction it's Kevin peters it, it, Stephen Young, Taryn Edgerton, Michael Shannon, Jesse Eisenberg. I really just think Jesse Eisenberg is going to happen. I know he's like I'm nine. Surprised. But sorry, say it again. I, I know he's like nine on Gold Derby, but I, I, I just, he's I really nine. Think, yeah, like he something new. Like is he not like the like the face of the show? Right, like, like, that's what I mean. Right. Like, if Fleischman is happening, does he, does he literally he? do nothing? Like. Yeah. So far, yeah. I think like, he's really. I think he's really good in it. Yeah. Why is why is everyone doubting him? I don't know. I think he's gonna get it. That's weird. So um, yeah, because like Evan Peters, just obviously it feels at this point. And then yeah, Stephen Young. Like I feel really good about the top four or so. Yeah. Uh, I'm not as confident in Michael Shannon. I have Michael Shannon at five actually. That's I fair. think That's he'll fair. get nominated. But and I, I think Steve Carell will just kind of happen. Yeah. Like random Man, thing that will is, happen. It, that will all it's, hate. It's, and be kind of annoyed by it's like last year. Line. Wait, who got nominated last year in that category? Like it was just like random nominees that like didn't get many other things. I don't know because I think everyone else. I think everyone else last year the nominations were Keaton, Sebastian Stan. Uh, no, it was Sebastian. Andrew Garfield who got nominated for that that show that got no other nomination. Oh, under the banner of Heaven. oh yeah, and, like, and I think from like, people saw that, but people saw that one coming though. Like yeah, yeah. I don't think they, that it's a direct one to one, but. Yeah, I will say, I think what Carell has is, like, obviously, A, he's Steve Carell. Right. Like, he's gotten noms before and here. And also, uh, isn't Dom Hall Gleason supposed to be, like, unbelievable in the patient? I haven't seen it yet. Yes. Yeah. A lot of, again, limited series is where a lot of my blind spots are. Same, same. So, mm-hmm. but. It's not yeah. a bad guess. But I have, uh, I also, uh, Sam Claflin, I think, is a lot more likely than people letting on. Okay. Uh, I, same, I... With, same with Kumail Nanjiani. Or. Uh, Welcome to Chippendales. Oh, I need to watch Welcome to Chippendales and see what it is because like he's amazing. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But I don't. And then we, there's also Woody Harrelson in White House Plumbers, which I, will I don't think anybody cares about. Pay but money. To, he's terrible. He's, he's so bad he's in just the show. There and the shows <laughs> in the people know about the show so but i don't i really don't think it'll happen like i do think it's radcliffe or corral fighting for those last spot uh well i do think if um murray bartlett gets in for supporting i feel like kumail is not far maybe off. maybe maybe um well, let's get into supporting so supporting i don't entirely know this how category people, sucks because like sometimes well, it's the top six, two are really sometimes good. it's seven sometimes it's uh, yeah other than those two I, I, I'm not, Dane, I mean claire, claire hasn't Dane. blown me away yet Adriano, wait for episode seven because she is seven. the lead of that episode. It is okay. one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my entire life. What she does in that you. episode. I think Got she you. could win. I really think she could win a la Julianne okay. Nicholson. And it would be so deserving, but it'll probably be Nisi, which is great because I love her. And I think yeah, deserving. Her. Deserving. Yeah, she's yeah. the only thing about that show that I'm I care about so yeah so then we have uh, lena Heaty and judy greer and white house plumbers no i don't think white house plumbers getting nominations okay 
Sam we don't really know what to do Grant. with these categories. I, d- I didn't know what to do because I haven't seen any of them. I think there's some pretty big ones y'all are missing. I, 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 Camilla Monroe? Y'all don't have her? I mean, we again, we don't know what to do. So we're very right. lost. I think after yeah. White House Plumbers and Love and Death, it was like that one-two punch of like, oh, they aren't good. Like, yeah, it kind it, it, it feels like it feels like it fucked this category over for t- specific. Yeah, this really. category just became very, very weak. I do not buy Olivia Coleman. Okay, okay, kind of at all. Like, I, I remember like I was going through Gold Derby. I'm like, all right, I need help on this category, and I see like, Olivia Coleman's like three. And I'm like. For what? Well, right. That's what I was looking at for help in this guy. Yeah, and, and on top of that, Great Expectations apparently is dog shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not surprised. So if, if we're just thinking about this category, do you think both beef people are in, both Maria and Ashley? I have them both in kind of out mm-hmm. of like, what else? I have Michael Lerner in for Dahmer. It's, she plays oh, the grandma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could um, just be like, we have no other wait, options. Wait, what about the, the, the mom and beef? Like the that the what's it what's possible what if she's not gonna get three though i don't think it's gonna get three i mean know. again so little option yeah so like, also, also, young. Uh, also she there's played, uh, like, she played like an unlikable character like i don't know yeah also the suki waterhouse for daisy okay. jones yeah oh, okay. you know I, I i don't i don't i'm not into like like a lot of like, i'm not into this like idea of like just kind of going for the names you know, I'm just yeah, like, they, Trevor, they don't maybe typically... Adriano's list could just be ours for this category because <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm very, I'm very that lost sounds good to me. Yeah, because I really do, I just don't know. Yeah. What 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 do you what do you have for your list? Because I'm very lost. Uh, Nacy Nacy Nash and Claire Danes, of course. Uh yeah. Camilla Monroe for Daisy Jones and the Six. Okay. Uh Ashley Park for Beef, Michael Leonard for Dahmer, and Maria Bella for Beef. Yeah. That's I like that. I like that. That'd be good, actually. I thought Ashley Park was excellent. Oh, I thought she was terrific. I love beef, man. It's so good. It sucks that we can't so really talk good. about it anymore, but it's fine. Ah. So, eh, yeah, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to leave Lita, Lena Headey at seven, just in case. Okay. And then... I, I can understand that. Yeah, I, then, honestly, I have my top six, and then afterwards, it's just like a, a, a clusterfuck. Yeah, this category yeah. Sucks. This category's just... It's really bad. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm so... like, I don't even know what, like, what the hell is a friend of the family? Like, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't you know. know who's what, in that show? I, I Jake, Lacey. Jake Lacey oh. is in that show who played oh, the damn. meanest person ever on White Lotus. Yeah. Oh God, dude. I oh. was, I was team the concierge. Like I was on that guy's team. <laughs> There's also um Merritt Weaver and Tiny Beautiful Things. I don't know if that's a thing. No. Again, I just don't know what that show is. I, right. It, it kind of five years Who of a like Who watched that? Exactly. Like I this need, category I is just sucking one that. person. I yeah. know. Tell me one person that didn't get paid to watch it. Right. Like, sorry, let me sorry, let me let me let me rephrase that. Someone who didn't get paid to review it that uh, right. didn't watch it, you know? Yeah. It's it's a bit of a mess of a category. But okay, let's let's talk about supporting actor. Last also, one. We're very video. we're very lost here. I okay. I feel good about Paul Walter Hauser. I, I feel have good a about thinking, like I have a little bit more of a like my head straight for this one. I I feel like I do too. Because yeah, like Dom Gleason, Ray Liotta, Young Mazzino, Richard Jenkins, and Paul Walter Hauser, I feel good about. Not in that order, but like I like those five, and then Murray Bartlett. I feel like just sneaks in. But <sighs> I have him. I have him, okay. but it doesn't feel correct to me just because I feel like Walking the Chippendales just kind of happened. Sure. So so you're as, thinking as someone who Lemons watched it. Or Lee? I don't know about Jeff. I, oh, I have Murray. Um, but okay. I, there's also Joseph. Yeah, Joseph Lee is uh, an option. Right. Um, Greg Kinnear for Blackbird, maybe? Maybe. Ooh, it, yeah. It's just, it, again, it. limited. Other than like the the three big shows, it's such a disaster. But like, I feel just way lemon. better about the six than I do about also Plemons. Oh, oh, me too. Oh, me too. Me too. Like Ple- also Plemons was kind of nothing in Love and Death. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean that would that would be very much a name check. But oh, for I mean, sure. Because like, what else do you have? Like Kieran Hines in the English. We already established nobody cares. I no mean, Bow and Yang Fire Island. Than, and we, no, that's not gonna like, happen. Won't happen. Won't happen. Like, I would like it, but it wouldn't happen. Um, oh, I, he's, so, yeah. he's deserving, but no. But this just feels right. Paul Walter Hauser. I feel pretty good about the win. Just like. Again, the other five races, Donald Gleason, who must be great in the patient. Ray Liotta feels like he'd just come along with Blackbird. I don't know if Greg Kinnear would 
make it three for Blackbird, but it's possible. It, it, it's um, one of those things where it's like, what other options do we have? Right, right. And like I said, like Bartlett, it just depends on how much Chippendales has stayed in voters. But again, for lack of options, it feels like he's just sliding into that last spot for now. And that is it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Once again, go check out Adriano on both YouTube and on Twitter. The links will be down in the description. But that is it for our Emmys predictions for now. We will be back in July for our final predictions. So definitely stay tuned for that. But until then, thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.